first-hand secrets that I've learned from the greatest mixers ever. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. Hey, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Also, there are tons of great samples from my personal library below in the description of every video. They're all pay what you want. And lastly, if you want me to work on your music, hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com. So the greatest mixers don't really talk about this kind of stuff, and I wouldn't know a thing about it unless they did it to my mixes personally. Making a mix work takes a lot more than EQ compression and balancing. Watch this. All right, you guys, great stuff this week. Stuff that I've personally learned from sending my mixes to Tom Lordalgy, Chris Lordalgy, David Mendith, and had the good fortune to not only get my mixes back and listen, but talk to these guys and what they did and why. And um, I learned some really valuable lessons as a mixer and as a producer. So let me play you this great song that I'm working on this week by a band called Cousins Road. There'll be a link in the video below to their stuff. A uh, very cool song, kind of classic rock, some sticks, some rush, all kinds of stuff. Let me play you the beginning of this song and we'll get into it. Here we go. Okay, so everything sounds great. This is what they sent me. Uh, cool guitars, cool vocal. But the first thing I want to do is try to make a moment going from that intro to this first. Maybe something that comes down, uh, a magic moment uh, to hear the vocal better, and a little bit of something to get into the song. So my first inclination would be to turn these guitars down. Okay, that works. Maybe the other inclination would be to uh, delete one side of the guitar the halfway through the verse. Let's try that. Walking down these empty streets, feeling so alone. Up ahead, the lights grow dim. Okay, that works. Or uh, maybe I'll go to my guitar sum. And here I have the wow thing on. Walking down these empty streets. So what the wow thing does is it's a stereo split. So I could turn that off and bring the guitars in a little bit. So as I wrestled with these ideas, I figured I'd come back to that verse and try to figure out what to do. I got the rest of the song in pretty good shape. Cool bridge here. So as I started to wrestle with the song and get into shape, I saw at this very end part of the song here, there was this. Whoa. So that's the exact same chord changes as my verse. 
but it's not a, a part that is um, so strummy. It's more rhythmic. So this is what I have on this side of the verse. So maybe to make my... So what I did was I copied that in part over here, over here to my verse, and I've got this guitar going on the left side here. And I took this part out of the right side and put this part in. So now we have this for the verse. Walking down these empty streets, feeling so alone. Up ahead, the lights grow dim. I'm straying far from home. So I've created another moment from the chorus and from the intro that can be something different. So when now when this goes from the intro. Walking down these empty streets, feeling so alive. Now I did run it through some guitar rig for uh, an amp sound uh, because it was... Basically, I think just direct. So that's coming right off the guitar. Walking down these empty streets, feeling so alone. Up ahead, the lights grow dim. I'm straying far from home. Love you, but can I still be saved? I'm blown away. It's a star my face today. So, coming from the intro to the verse and from the verse to the chorus, I've got new moments that come down, that come up. So, I learned this from these great mixers. They're always looking for something, a moment, uh, something to push and pull, to bring your attention in, something else, something different. I mean, especially in this age where we've got video games and Instagram and YouTube and whatever, we've got to keep their attention. So... As I was mixing this song, looking for moments, I lucked out and found this piece down here that I could put back there. Now, sometimes an artist doesn't want that. They want it exactly how they had it, and that's fine. They always win, but always nice to show them that you're looking for something, that you're going the extra mile, not just mixing what they have. I did this, and the, act, the artist actually loved it. Whew. Anyway, um... Look for moments that are within the song that aren't there yet and make them happen. Well, there you go. Half of a great mix is in the arrangement of the parts and the frequency of those parts. Think about the peaks and valleys of your song as you arrange the song and play the parts long before it's time to mix. With this in mind, half of your mixing will already be completed. Thanks so much for watching. Give me some comment, love, and a thumbs up below. And hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.